cemetery. It's where I'm going to end up, and you will too, probably. There's so much heartbreak, so much sorrow here. It's not the kind of place you'd expect a happy ending. And yet, that's exactly what's coming our way. And as you can imagine, it's a rather strange and unexpected one as well. That's Angelo Hayes. He's 19, handsome, one of those life in the fast lane types. And he's in love. His love, that motorcycle. Angelo, please, please, just wear your helmet if you're gonna ride the bike. <sighs> Come on, Mom. If I wear this thing, it's gonna mess up my hair. And how's that gonna look? You're terrible. I'll be fine. I promise. Well, just be careful, okay? I'm always careful. Come on, Mom. I'll be back before you know it. I worry about you. Safety was never at the top of Angelo's mind, uh, and his mother knew that. She was just trying to keep her boy safe. If we all listened to our mothers, the world would be a much safer place, but not nearly as interesting. That's his bike. Call an ambulance. We need to get him to a doctor. Unfortunately for Angelo, it was too late for a doctor. When the ambulance arrived, he was pronounced dead. Angelo Hayes, he was riding a motorcycle, no helmet, and hit a wall with blunt trauma to the head. That's what probably killed him. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Parents bearing their child. Is there anything more heartbreaking? To add to their sorrow, Angela's parents didn't get a chance to see their son one last time before the funeral. The injuries were so severe that a close casket was recommended. So much sorrow and misery because of an accident. But not everyone thought it was an accident. It turns out that this 19-year-old had a life insurance policy. That's unusual. The beneficiary on that policy? Angelo's father. The life insurance company quickly gets a claim from Angelo's family. Take a look at this. This policy, the dad takes it out two weeks before the crash. He buys a $200,000 death policy and the kid dies two weeks later? And they don't even waste any time filing a claim just day after the burial. That all too convenient insurance policy is just, just the kind of thread that investigators love to pull. And once they start pulling, who knows what will unravel. So here's where they found the bike. There's the curve of the road where he lost it. And not a single skid mark. So it's a clear blue sky, no rain. Road's bone dry, and he, he what? I don't know. Too much speed? Too big of a curve? Oh, kid's friend said he was an expert rider. An expert? Insurance investigators, what they want is a full copy of the autopsy report, the investigator's report, toxicology report. Problem is, there was no toxicology report and no autopsy. Angela was buried in haste. You know, it should have been an autopsy. I'm afraid we'll have to talk to the parents. After all, they're the beneficiaries of this policy. The coincidences, if you want to call them that, in this case are starting to add up. With each step that the investigators take, this is starting to look less like an accident and something more sinister. But there's one last step to take, a very gruesome one. You want to dig up my son? Is this really necessary? If he wants his insurance money, yes. 
Two days after his burial, Angelo's body is taken from its final, well, almost final resting place, and then brought to the coroner's office. So clearly there's been a very substantial head trauma. Multiple facial fractures. That's odd. What's odd? This man's alive. Declared dead on Monday, buried on Wednesday, dug up on Friday, back among the living by Saturday. <laughs> of course, the big question is, how did Angelo Hayes survive being buried alive for three days? Angelo was in a coma. The human body can survive with less oxygen when a person is in a coma. Your resuscitation, your heartbeat is suppressed so that the body can either heal itself or still function. And if they hadn't dug up Angela when they did, well, that coma would have eventually ended in death, a more permanent condition. Angelo was very lucky. I mean, that's a million to one long shot that uh, it would just fall in place that way. And that oddly timed insurance policy Angelo's father bought? Just a coincidence. They do happen, you know. The dogged insurance investigators dropped their case right away. And in fact, they saved Angelo's life. You know, I've had a lot of time to think. And Dad, I've got this really crazy idea. After he healed, Angelo went on to create a special coffin with a radio transmitter in it that allowed anyone else that was unlucky enough to be buried alive to call for help. The story of his miraculous uh, recovery and resurrection made Angelo a minor celebrity, and he went on to live a long and prosperous life. So you see, a happy ending. A bizarre one, but a happy ending nevertheless. <laughs>